is my little brother George. This is Mummy Pig. And this is Daddy Pig. <laughs> Peppa Pig. Bug Hotel. Peppa and George have come to play at Granny and Grandpa Pig's house. Hello, Granny and Grandpa. <laughs> Hello, my little ones. Would you like to see what I've made in the garden? Yes, please. Then follow me. I wonder what Grandpa's made this time. I've made a hotel. What's a hotel? A hotel is a house where you can stay for a holiday. <laughs> Hotels are very fancy. Like a fairy castle? Yes, just like a fairy castle. When you arrive, someone takes your bags and you're given a comfy room to stay in. That's what a hotel is. Mm. I like hotels. Uh, my hotel isn't exactly like that. I'm sure it's still very nice. Here it is, my bug hotel. Ah. Oh, my word. Good, isn't it? It isn't quite what I was expecting when you said hotel. How can we stay in that? It's not for us. This hotel is for little bugs. Oh. It is made out of sticks, old logs, bricks and leaves. All the things that bugs like. Here comes a little beetle. Look, our first guest. Welcome to our hotel. Um, which of our rooms do you fancy? It's going into the tube thing. Yes, the beetle <laughs> likes this bamboo tube the best. It's just the right size for it. It looks really cosy. <laughs> Yes, and I want lots more bugs to stay at the hotel because they are very good for the garden. Ooh, look, a ladybird. Ah, uh, yes. Here comes our next guest. <laughs> the whole family have come to stay. The baby ladybirds are so sweet. Hello, everyone. For you, I'd recommend our family rooms. The family rooms are a piece of wood with lots of holes. <laughs> Ooh, look, a butterfly. Welcome, Miss Butterfly. I see you've discovered our roof terrace. <laughs> Ugh, these are a bit too creepy crawly for me. No, Granny, these are wood lice. They do lots of good work. They prefer a room that is nice and dark. May I recommend this room for you? Night, night, wood lice. <laughs> Well done, Grandpa. Your hotel is almost full. There's always room for more guests. The more, the merrier. Look, a bee. It's a bumblebee. In you go. Oh, no. It can't fit in. None of the hotel rooms are big enough for the bumblebee. We'll just have to make a new room. Pepper and George, would you like to help? Yes, please. <laughs> First, we need to find something big enough. What about this flower pot? That's perfect. We'll just turn it upside down. Would the bee like a comfy bed inside? Yes, I'm sure the bee would like that. <laughs> George has found some dry grass. Perfect. That will make a very comfy bed. The flower pot room is just right for the bumblebee. She's very happy. She's going back. I'm a bumblebee. I like to buzz around. Buzz. George is a beetle crawling on the ground. We are little bugs. We play all day. We like the bug hotel and we want to stay. Mm, buzz, you're buzz, very large buzz, bugs, aren't you? Buzz, I don't think we have any rooms big enough. Oh. But the bug hotel never turns guests away. We just make more rooms. Here you are. The grandest room of all for our most important <laughs> guests. I'm all lovely and snug. <laughs> I think it's the best fancy hotel in all the world. Yes, it is rather good. <laughs> Pepper and George love the Bug Hotel. All the little bugs love the Bug Hotel. <laughs> I'm a bumblebee. I like to buzz around. George is a beetle crawling on the ground. We are little bugs, we play all day. We like the bug hotel and we want to stay.